Hello everyone, Shamanzin here. Um, today I'm showing you how to further secure your system using two-factor authentication. Um, I've already posted a video on how to do this for just the login screen, but that has one glitch and it actually was brought up by a uh, one of my users as well. Um, and that is if I have two-factor authentication, so right now on this, on this particular uh, VM, I have two-factor authentication okay so it asked me for my security code okay and then I just enter that and there you go I'm able to log in however if I did the same thing okay so we'll log out and I drop down to one of the terminal sessions. Let's see if I can do this in virtual, uh, in virtual box, I should be able to. Okay. It will not ask me for a two factor code. The reason being is that we've, um, in my original video, I did this only for light DM or the desktop manager, um, which about 80% of, you know, that'll protect you against like 80% of the people, you know, like your sister who's guessed your password or, or something like that. Someone who's not a, a an advanced, uh, Linux person, um, it will ask for a, a two factor security code. Now we want obviously we want more security and we want this to be um we want this to be system wide so in order to do this uh we'll just move over the pam uh the auth required uh statement from one pam file to the next so we'll just go over back to uh etc and go to pam.d okay and so in my original video, we went to light DM and we added this. So remove that and save it. And now I want you to go over to common dash off. And now at the bottom of um, common dash, dash off, um, add the line that we removed in the other file. So auth required PAM Google Authenticator dot SO, no, okay, and save it. Okay, so what we've done here is that the common dot uh, dash auth file is included in many um, uh, authentication uh, mechanisms. So uh, it will, this automatically applies it to light DM, uh, automatically applies it to pseudo um, and everything else. The only thing is that if you want to put uh, two-factor security on your SSH terminal, you still need to follow my instructions on my other video on uh, how to enable challenge responses and stuff like that. So now if I exit here, okay, and then I try logging back into the terminal, and I'm now asked for a verification code. Okay, so I enter my verification code. And there we go. So even if someone drops down to a terminal, it will still ask them for the verification code. And also in light DM. And also it will ask um, for a verification code while using sudo. So if I go to the terminal, just a simple sudo command where it'll ask me for my password. I'm now asked for it system wide. Okay. This will also um, be applicable to say we go over to users to user accounts for instance 
and I need to I uh, use unlock even the GUI will come back asking for a verification code okay so if you use sudo a lot um, this may be a bit of annoying because now you gotta reach for your phone um, or know one of the one of the um, actually yeah sorry just reach for your phone all the time but it's a it's a nice security technique um, and so uh, this is definitely uh, a nice build upon on my last video so I hope that helped you guys out if you have any questions or comments you can always uh, email me sean at seanmancini.com visit my website seanmancini.com and uh, thanks for watching have a great day guys